Do you frequently rage quit the internet after hours of searching for inexpensive night vision binoculars? Have you spent an eternity on forums trying to find a way to cheat the system frustrated by high prices? Well, if this applies to you, I suggest you watch the rest of this video because we may have just the product for you. Today's video is a bit of a follow-on from our previous video we did on the Infrared J31. Um, today we're going to be talking about the J14. Um, if it's not abundantly obvious, this is the monocular version of this binocular housing. It has a lot of the same features and same user interface. Um, this actually brings a lot to the table for the price. Just to get started, these are available on our website for $22.99. So it's the same NNVT tube that is present in the J31. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about why this is such a good value, um, because I'm sure the first question or first comment that will be made is like, well, I can get a, you know, a normal PVS 14 for around 3000 and change with a tube of my choice, you know, be it Photonis or Elbit. Why would I be interested in this for about $700 less? Well, first and foremost, maybe you have a really tight budget. Like I said in the intro, a lot of people are searching, scouring the internet, trying to find a way to get started with night vision for little to no budget. So with the J14, you get a lot of things that you don't typically get when you buy a PVS-14. First and foremost, it comes with a J-arm. Um, this is usually a $150 to $250 additional accessory you have to buy when you buy a PVS-14. With the J14, it comes included. Just like the J31, it comes with a little day cap. You know, it's not a huge deal, but it is significantly smaller than a PVS-14. But it has all the features that you have come to expect with a night vision monocular. It's got an an IR illuminator built in, a light sensor to uh, communicate with their pseudo auto gating that they do. Um, it still takes a single AA battery. I'm going to talk about some of the things that it does that a normal PVS-14 doesn't do. Just like the J31, it comes with an additional bracket to interface with one of these guys. So if you were to buy a J31 and later on you want to add some thermal capability to your repertoire or however you say that I don't speak French uh, you can simply attach this bracket to the bottom of the night vision monocular and simply slide on a Jerry C5 or CE5 um, there's four or five different variants of this but essentially they all work so you have not only night vision capability but now you have a thermal overlay all in one nice neat little package another thing it was kind of cool about these. Um, it was an, it's an issue that's already been addressed by infrared. These people move very fast. The uh, first couple rounds of the J31 that not only us but other distributors received had some fitment issues with the dovetails. Uh, this has now been addressed. But on the J14, the J arm that comes with it already interfaces flawlessly with all the mounts that are on the market. Uh, I tried it with a couple Rhino mounts, it worked fine. I don't have any Kdex mounts, we don't really mess with those, but if you have one, it will work with those. Um, and I tried it on a, a handful of different Wilcox G24s and G69s. Had absolutely zero issue with it sliding right in and locking up. You know, it wasn't bumping out, I didn't have any false positive connections. It, it works great. It's actually you know a, a pretty tight fit all things considered additionally in the box you do get a uh, eye cup whether you use it or not i don't that's you know up to you get a little user's manual um there is some functionality in this so you know read the user's manual before you go out and start using it just so you're fully aware of all the controls inside of it uh you get a product certificate for authenticity and then you're going to get a data sheet this is going to come with every one of these devices. They will ship in this little bag that everything is in. And that bag goes in this little box, which is kind of nice. It's watertight. Uh, it's got some padding in there. 
with the you know additional padding of the bag that it comes in and it has a um, shoulder strap if you like to carry your night vision around in a tiny case like this with a shoulder strap it's actually got a belt loop so if you want to you know wear it on the front like a you know you have your cell phone on one side and your night vision over here maybe a pager back here um, yeah that's probably a pretty cool look for the, the summertime anyway all that's included in the box really hard to beat this value I mean as we talked about in the previous video this is a generation 2 imported tube uh, it's not going to be a direct competitor to like a generation 3 night vision tube or like there's going to be some uh, give and take so you're getting a lot of features um, you're getting pretty impressive performance out of these things uh, you are giving a little bit of up in the optical quality but I would say these uh, these optics as I said in the last video are sufficient to do what 95% of y'all are gonna do with them um, we've been using these for about a week now and I have nothing bad to say about them I'm gonna get the scale out real quick and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison between the J14 and just a standard mil spec Carson PVS 14 with mil spec optics and an L3 tube inside of it So we have our trusty food scale. I'm gonna start with the PVS 14. On this scale, it comes in at right, right at 304 grams. Again, that's the mil spec PVS 14 Carson housing L3 tube, yada, yada, yada. This is the um, infrared J J14. And it comes in right at 240 grams and that's with the jerry c uh, mounting adapter plate whatever attached so um i mean this weighs like almost nothing it's plastic but for full transparency neither one of these has a battery in it i will confirm that now no battery no battery so yeah Pretty significant weight savings with this one. Um, I mean, that's about all I have to say about it. If you have any questions about these, call us, email us, shoot us a DM on any of our social medias. We'd love to answer your questions. We have a hand-picked option on the website or you can actually go through and pick which tube you want specifically. Um, we typed up all the data sheet, the important parts of it, put them on the website with pictures through the tubes just like we normally do with all of our other night vision devices. As always, thank you for watching. Um, please like, share, and subscribe our videos. We really appreciate that. Have a great day.